good morning welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be installing my upper lower control arms uh, new rotors new brake pads and i'm going to be installing a, my rough country three and a half inch lift kit and i'm about to walk you through the parts that i have right here okay okay all right you see i have new struts that i'm putting on um new rotors and brake pads um, rough country lift kit I'll open that up in a minute but I have new upper and lower control arms um, new tie-in rods all of this stuff is new so I'm replacing all of this up under the front end under my truck and let's go to the rough country lift kit now this is just the three and a half inch lift kit so it didn't include the control arms. Um, I bought the control arms separately because I knew I needed to change them. So that's why um, I didn't get everything from Rough Country at the time. I didn't know um, I was going to change them. So here's the, the blocks that go on the top of the struts. And... These are the shocks to go on the back. And of course, this is the hardware inside of this box. So, um, let me go ahead and let's get started. I got a lot of work ahead of me. cut that off but it was stuck on so I just cut it off I have new ones that I'm putting on anyway so save me some time I just cut it off better uh, faster and I don't have one so I'm gonna see if I can get a, a socket and a ratchet on there this is the other part to my leveling kit um, this was sitting on top of the, the struts and this is part of it 
All right, next is this part right here. This has to be cut off to, for the lift kit, not necessarily for the uh, upper or lower control arms, but it has to be cut off for the lift kit. All right, I'm picking back up where I left off. Um, I had to go and get these holes drilled out on this um, because on the factory struts, the stud right here is a lot smaller. And because I changed the struts, this is a thicker stud and it wouldn't go through all the holes, the holes inside of here. So I had to get the holes drilled out so they can go through there and the other side can go through. So I'm just picking back up on where I left off right now. It's late night again, and I'm in the garage. What I'm doing is touching up the black areas or the, the plastic on my truck. Um, painting that, that. I'm just putting stuff back together slowly. And if you look at the front, I painted the plastics on the bottom of the front also. That's what I'm doing now, getting ready to put the bumper pads back on and the tailgate cap.